For Christian Zionists, we are secondary to Israel. In fact, we do not even exist in their theology and narrative. If we exist at all, we exist as the bad guy or as people deserving sympathy as the stranger of the land. No, we're not strangers in this land. Why is it totally acceptable and commendable to resist oppression in other contexts, yet there is a double standard when it comes to Palestinians? Why is every Israeli violence self-defense, while every Palestinian violence terrorism? How convenient, how convenient and honestly hypocritical is it for some Western evangelicals to, roast, to resort to the international law, for example, in the recent Gaza incidents, and say, well, Israel has the right to defend its borders. Yet when we Palestinians bring the international law, oh no, it's a different story. We cannot bring that. And please forgive my bluntness. How ironic that evangelical Christians that supported the war in, Iran, uh, in Iraq and support a war against Iran condemn us and criticize the Palestinian people for violent acts of certain groups among us. This is in no way, please, this is in no way justifying violence. And since the beginning and repeatedly throughout the years, the Palestinian Christian community and the great majority of Muslims have been committed to nonviolence and to dialogue. Even in the midst of violence and oppression that we face daily and every, in every aspect of our life. As followers of Christ, we have since the beginning promoted creative non-resistance, creative non-violent resistance, and we have denounced violence. In the Christ at the Checkpoint Manifesto, we declared all forms of violence must be refuted unequivocally. And we meant it. The question is, are you listening? 